Okay, I just got done going over. Now tell him to sit. Kindle. Tell her to sit. I'm sorry. Sit. Sit. Oops. Sit. There you Good go. Good girl. All right, now, uh, uh, and it's okay if she gets up, I guess. Uh, knees a little bit further apart. And make sure your uh, th uh, your hands aren't extending past your knees. They're, they're perfect. Now, as soon as she looks up at you in the face, you're going to raise it up and uh, that two movement move uh, that I showed you. Um, and this one, I'm going to ask you not to give Pip any treats. Oh, sorry. Uh, we, we add just a distractor. So let's oh, make a ki sorry. kissing sound. Yeah. That's all right. There you yes. go. Yes. Focus. Focus. That's all right. Focus. Oops. Focus. Now you're saying focus as soon as you start raising the treat. Wait until the treat touches okay. her lips. That's still a little early. That's all right. This is exactly why we practice. Focus. Now she did give you a couple eye darts that you I missed. Saw. So you just have, and that's why when you're holding it, make sure you're holding it in your right hand between your thumb and forefinger so that you don't have to fump. There you go. She's looking. Focus. Focus. That was better. Now you're also kind of doing it like an arc, mm -hmm. trying to go vertical and then uh, uh, extend it diagonally towards your mouth. Focus. That was better. Now if she chews this long. There we go. Focus. If she chews that long, you might want to split these okay. in half. So the idea is she's looking at you right away. But Focus. see how she's looking up at you more and more and quicker and quicker? Focus. Excellent. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to we're going to keep filming this. I'm going to flip it around so that you can film me. I want to show you the movement. Because your movement, I'm going to show you what you're doing and then the movement we want. So let's say that, uh, oh, here. Sit. Sit. So what you're doing is you're kind of going like this. Focus. Mm. Let's try that again. Sit. So what I'm going to do is focus mm -hmm. so it's a very distinct right angle here instead of just a roundabout one um focus and so your your time of your, your saying focus was rough at first but then you started you got that but we just want to make sure when you're watching this you'll be able to see the difference between me and you now what i'd like you to do um, for this is i would start out with about 10 or 12 treats for each dog so we're only this exercise is only take about 60 seconds per dog now, like I mentioned off camera, we don't want to be feeding the other dogs. If the other dogs are making noises or distractions at first, have them do it in a different room. We want to make it as easy as possible initially. What will happen is after a while, the dog doesn't even look at your paws, your hands. It just starts hmm. and it's just doing hmm. that hmm. or to the point where you have to almost like pretend like you're throwing it to get them to look away. And we're saying focus each time. Now, I would like you to see you guys do it each, with each dog two or three times a day, maybe twice for you, twice for her. Uh, so it's a lot for each dog, but again, it's only about a minute each. But after a while, you say focus, and you should get the dog just stopping and looking up at you. This way, when you're walk and you're walking by a dog that starts barking, you say focus. Mm -hmm. They look up at you, and you can hold up the treat as you're walking and then extend the treat towards them. Now, what I typically do when I first start doing this is I'm going to go profile so I can show you. One second, one second, one mm -hmm. second, one second. The first two or three times you do this, first 10 or 12 for two or three different practice repetitions, um, after a while, then I go one second, one, two seconds. Mm -hmm. Then eventually, and, and then each time I maybe make it one second longer to the point where it's like one second, 
and then the next movement takes 20 seconds. Now you have to practice it in the house when again there's no distractions at first. Now at first, once the dogs kind of get it, then we want to start having the TV on. We want to start having another dog, or maybe you guys are working with two dogs simultaneously so that they're both practicing the focus with another dog getting a treat a couple feet away. Make sure at least about six or seven feet away, if not greater. And if they can't do it at six or seven feet, maybe go to the completely opposite sides of the room. But eventually we get to the point where the dogs, so she's getting better. She'll take treats from me before she, when I first got her, she wouldn't. But eventually I can say, let's see if I can do a focus with you. Focus. Focus. It's like, that's all you're going to get out of me, which is fine. So uh, the puppy is uh, the reason for the shaking camera right now. Um, so the focus exercise is something, like I said, we want to do it with each dog. I wouldn't necessarily, you can do it with the puppy, but I would. Th this is uh, something I would eventually do with the puppy. Uh, I guess there's no reason why you can't do it with the puppy. Uh, but I think it's going to be more, more beneficial for your older mm -hmm. dogs and help them. Oh, when I hear focus, I know what to do. Mm -hmm. So this is how we teach our dog to focus. Perfect.